In this video, we'll take a look at the GRS Sendin Target Pro light gun on a Raspberry Pi 5 running Botocera. We'll unbox it, assemble it, and of course check out some games. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. I would like to express a huge thank you to Mr. Glenn Planamento, the godfather of retro gaming, for sending over his GRS Send-In Target Pro for review. When your GRS Send-In shotgun arrives, it will be in two boxes. The larger box, labeled Part A, contains the main assembly. The smaller box has the wooden stock. When you open Box A, there are some brief instructions that point you where to go for more detailed setup information. As we all know, software changes, and it was a good idea to reference the send-in wiki. Also in the package is a badge which will apply to the gun after assembled. It does have some good assembly instructions as well, but we'll do a quick assembly in just a few moments. In box A, we have the screws and hardware needed to put it together. A green and orange plastic cap for identification if you plan on using two guns. The gun itself looks very nice, and there is a small D-pad on the left side and a very long USB 2.0 cable. There is actually a pretty nice Phillips head screwdriver included, so you don't have to go hunting for one. In box B, we have the stock to the gun. It's pretty cool how this thing was designed. It separates into two separate pieces, and on the inside, it's been etched out to allow easy installation of the USB cable. To install the cable, leave probably about a half inch length of the cable on the outside of the tip of the stock of the gun and place the cable in a U-shape. The key here is taking the notched end of the cable into the bottom portion of the stock and it just fits in nicely. At this point just sandwich the other piece of the gun stock over the top. From the hardware pack there are two different size screws and two metal shafts. We'll install all the smaller screws first. And from here, just install the six screws. Take the two metal shafts, insert it into the two holes at the unfinished portion of the stock. If needed, use the bottom of the screwdriver to push it down flush. Then, insert the two screws at these locations. You can now insert the stock into the base of the gun assembly and secure it with two of the longer screws. Keep in mind you'll have one extra small screw and one extra long screw in case you lose one. If you'll be using two of these guns, you can swap out the cap colors to make it easier to identify player one and two. We have a D-pad, as well as four buttons on the end, two on each side of the gun. Last step of the assembly is to add the GRS Sendin Target Pro badge to the side of the gun. That's a very nice touch. I like that. There was a separate cable included in the box as well. This is if you plan to use the gun as a replacement for the Arcade 1UP Big Buck Hunter gun. I don't actually own that cabinet, so I can't demonstrate that working. But you can check out the Tech Buzz Gaming review of the GRS Sin and Target Pro, where he demonstrates the gun working on his Big Buck Hunter cabinet. The GRS Sin and Target Pro is compatible with the Arcade 1UP Big Buck Hunter, a PC running Windows, Linux, or Botocera, Raspberry Pi running RetroPie or Botocera, the GRS Viper running Botocera, and much more. In this video, I'll demonstrate the gun on a Raspberry Pi 5 running Botocera. For a detailed setup guide for Botocera on the Pi 5, please see the link in the video description below. If you're running Botocera version 39 or earlier on the Raspberry Pi, there is a patch for the send-in shotgun that is needed. If you're running version 40 or above, which is anticipated to be released in mid-2024, the update is already included and no longer necessary. At the time of this video, the patch was needed and available on the send-in wiki, which is linked below. You'll download and extract the Botocera update.zip. When you extract the file, there will be two files included in the archive. One is a text file with details on how to apply the patch, and the other is the executable that we'll need to apply to Botocera. I'll use the FileZilla FTP client on a PC to connect to the Pi 5 running Botocera. You'll enter the host name of Botocera, the username root, and the password Linux. For the port, use 22. 
Once connected, click OK on the dialog. Then browse to the User Share Send In subfolder. Right click on the Lightgun Mono.exe and rename it to Lightgun Mono Original.exe. Then drag and drop the Lightgun Mono.exe that we just downloaded into the Send In folder on the Pi. We can now close FileZilla. On the Pi 5, connect a USB keyboard and press Ctrl, Alt, and F3 to enter the console. Then type in Bodicera-Save-Overlay. Press Enter. Now type Reboot and press Enter. And that's it. The update has been applied and ready to go. I've taken the Pi 5 from the workbench and now mounted it to the side of my At Games Legends Ultimate arcade machine. There is only a single HDMI and USB connection between the Pi and the arcade cabinet. This allows the Pi 5 to utilize the arcade controls and the display. The GRS send in shotgun is plugged directly into the Pi 5. When you plug in the GRS send in light gun, you'll see a small gun icon appear in the upper left and a white border will appear. A nice feature within Botticera is that you can go into Game Collection Settings, then Automatic Game Collections, and check Vertical Arcade, or more importantly, Light Gun Games. What this will do is automatically categorize all Light Gun Games in a single group. It's a huge time saver. When you back out, you'll then see a category for Light Gun, and with all your Light Gun Games conveniently listed. Botticera has set up all the button mapping for the trigger, pump reloader, as well as select and start. Of course, we can remap those buttons the same way we did earlier, but the defaults work just fine. The send-in guns also have recoil, and the type of recoil you want to use can be changed by going into controller and Bluetooth settings, select send-in gun settings, and move down to the bottom option, recoil. And here's what the different settings sound like. What I like about this gun with Botocera is that it's really just plug and play. For arcade games, you can add credits by pressing the right front button and start the game with the left front button. The gun is very responsive. I've used other light guns that have sensors mounted above the display, but the sended tracking technology is a more accurate experience in my opinion. The pump action works great and it's also made of wood and feels very solid. Within Botticera, if you need to calibrate the crosshairs, it's super easy. Just press and hold the left arrow on the D-pad for about 5 seconds until the crosshair is centered on the screen. Aim and fire, and that's it. The gun is calibrated. For most light gun games, you'll reload using one of two methods. The first is using the pump action. The other is to point the gun off screen and pull the trigger. It'll vary based on the game. I've added a number of light gun enabled games to my favorites list. We'll check out some of them so you can get an idea of how they play. Crossbow, I believe, is one of the first light gun games I ever played. I was never very good at it, and not much has changed over the years, but here it is. Let's check it out. The entire family is joined in, having a blast. Here's my son playing Confidential Mission, and he's much better at it than I am. Hey, good shot. It wouldn't be a light gun video without showing House of the Dead 2. Here's my wife taking on zombies in her own unique way of marksmanship. No! The GRS Sendin Target Pro is a joint collaboration between GRS and Sendin. 
The guns are priced around 250 US dollars and are very durable and extremely fun. I want to thank Glenn's Retro Show for sending it over for review. It's a very high quality product that works extremely well. While I'm using it with a Raspberry Pi 5 in this video, I have also tested it on a PC and it works well there too. If you're interested in a setup guide for PCs, let me know in the comments below. I absolutely would recommend this gun to anyone wanting to expand their gaming experience. Glenn and I have been friends for a number of years and I've purchased many of his products and some have been provided for review such as this one. Most people who buy arcade products know he stands behind them 100% and provides them at the lowest price he can and the quality is always top notch. I'd like to again thank Glenn for sending over the GRS Send in Target Pro for review and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the like button and if you haven't already subscribed and want to see more content like this in the future, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.